The last section in chapter 2 is about maintenance testing. When you deploy the software to the production environment, the software needs always to be maintained. Maintained means that we perform maintenance on that software. So maintenance testing is performed after the deployment. For example, in the waterfall model, after we perform development and testing and deployment, we perform maintenance testing. Also in V-model, it is done after acceptance testing. In maintenance testing, we focus on testing the changes to the system, the parts of the system that have changed. Also, we test the parts that did not change, but might have been affected by the changes that we performed on the software, which is regression testing. So in maintenance testing, we perform regression testing. Maintenance testing can involve planned releases and unplanned releases, which we call hotfixes. Planned releases means we are planning a new release after one month. So here we have a plan and we will perform maintenance testing on a specific time that we already planned for. But unplanned releases or hotfixes happens when there is a problem which we did not plan for and we don't have a mitigation strategy for it. So when this problem happens accidentally, we are forced to perform unplanned releases or hotfixes. The scope of maintenance testing, which means how much maintenance testing will we perform. We have a large system. It is very hard to perform a full maintenance test on the whole system. So the scope of maintenance testing depends on the degree of risk of the change. We changed an area of the software. So this area, does it communicate with other components or systems? Does it have a high impact on them or not? The size of our system, if the system is small, we can do all the maintenance tests. But if the system is large, we need to have risk analysis and target our maintenance testing depending on the priority. And also the size of the change. If the change is small, we will perform small maintenance tests. But if the change is large, this means that we will need regression testing of many parts of the system. So we will perform a large maintenance tests. So what are the treasures for maintenance testing? Which means the reasons that make us use maintenance testing. First, modification. If you want to modify our system, we change it something in it, whether there is a bug and we solve it, or we added some features, this is modification. So if we perform modifications after deployment, we will need maintenance testing. The second thing is migration. Migration is when we move or migrate our system from one platform to the other. Our Android application is deployed on Android 7 and then a new version of Android, which is Android 8, for example, is available in the market. So this is a type of migration. Here we have to perform testing on the new environment. Retirement. Retirement means that we deleted a part of the system or we archived the whole system. So we need to test the system after deleting this part or after archiving to ensure that we fetched the data in a correct way. The last thing is impact analysis. Impact analysis is used to know the impact of our changes. So we changed parts of the system and we want to know these changes. What is the impact of them on our software? Why do we do this? In order to know how much regression testing will we need in the future. Impact analysis can be done before the change or after the change. We do it before the change so that we can make decision should we perform this change or not. For example, we are going to change something simple and then we found out using impact analysis that this small change will have a high impact on other parts and will need a lot of regression testing. In this case, we may decide, no, we will not make this change. And also impact analysis is done after the change so that we really know this change, what is the impact of it on the system in order to perform our maintenance testing. So this is the end of chapter two. If you want to solve more questions, more than the questions that we solve in these videos, go to udemy.com. You will find our course, which I'll provide the link of it in the description. And in this course, you can solve questions on chapter two so that you prepare better for the exam. Thank you and goodbye.